Yeah, okay, so starting with the supreme commander of the Taliban, this is uh, Mullah Haibatullah Ahwanzada. He's the, the emir, the king's prince. He's the head of the Taliban. Um, this is the same person who chose um, a member of, of Al-Qaeda as his number two. Um, and this person that he chose um, is, is, is a specially designated global terrorist for whom the FBI is offering uh, up to $5 million in reward for information leading to his capture. And we're going to get to this guy in a second because he plays a prominent role in the Taliban free government as well. Um, also, Al-Qaeda's number one, uh, Ayman al-Zawahri, who I mentioned, and formerly uh, bin Laden's deputy, for whom there's a $25 million reward from our U.S. government, pledged a blood oath uh, to the current head of the Taliban. Um, many of our Western experts in Afghanistan have been saying that the man who becomes Talib, the Taliban's um, leader, um, he actually became the Taliban's deputy prime minister, Mullah Baradad, um, he would be the leader. And it really shows you how people don't follow these issues, even so-called experts, because we knew back as early in 20, 2008, the Taliban put out a fatwa in Doha, from Doha, their office there, that Akhunzada would be the lawful leader of Afghanistan. And to give you a little bit more feel for Akhunzada, um, he supported his son in being a suicide bomber in uh, 2017. So I can move on. Yeah, move on. I mean, that says it all right there. The Minister of Defense, uh, Mullah Mohammed. Uh, Yaqub. Mullah Yaqub is the son of Mullah Omar. I don't know if you remember Mullah Omar. He was the former emir, the head of the Taliban, who befriended Osama bin Laden, gave refuge to him and Al-Qaeda, and allowed Al-Qaeda to train for and plan the 9-11 attacks in Afghanistan. And until his death in 2013, Mullah Omar so um, this guy's father, the Minister of Defense's father, was one of the most sought-after terrorists in the world. The United States offered a reward of $10 million for information leading to his capture. So the son of the uh, of uh, Osama bin Laden's partner in crime, the head of the Taliban, is now the Minister of Defense of Afghanistan. The Deputy Defense Minister, uh, Mullah Mohammed Fazad, was a Guantanamo detainee. He was in the number seven. He was also the Taliban's former defense minister. And according to documents from the uh, Joint Task Force Guantanamo, Fazl is wanted by the UN for uh, war crimes, including the murder of thousands of Afghan Shiites. The document also stated that Fazl um, has become a recruiting symbol for the Taliban. And he was part of the Taliban Five Prisoner Exchange to free Army deserter Bo Bergdahl. I'm going to call him Army deserter based upon the guys who uh, risked their lives and, and lost um, their their teammates in rescuing. And them. traitor. And I wonder where this traitor is today. I mean, it should be a little concerning. And his father, right? I mean, his father was an apologist yeah. for the Taliban. Yes. And the U.S. has also found ties to uh, U.S. intelligence community has found ties to Al Qaeda um, for this, this deputy defense minister. The Minister of Interior is Sirajuddin Haqqani, formerly number two of the Taliban, and um, Sirajuddin Haqqani is a specially designated global terrorist, and the FBI is offering up five million dollars in reward for information leading to his capture. So the Minister of Interior of Afghanistan is on the FBI's most wanted list for a $5 million reward. The Prime Minister, Mullah Mohammed Hassan Akhun, he's the one who greenlighted the destruction of the priceless 6th century giant Buddhas of Bamiyan. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do remember. Um, That's prior to 9-11. Yes. He is also on a UN-designated terrorist sanctions list. Deputy Prime Minister, Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, was a co-founder of the Taliban and leader of the Quetta Shura in Pakistan, which the leadership of the U.S. military 
said was directing the Taliban insurgency in Afghanistan from Pakistan and was the greatest threat to American troops. Director of Intelligence, Abdul Haq Watak, Guantanamo detainee, the Taliban's Deputy Minister of Intelligence, central to the Taliban's efforts to form alliances with other Islamic fundamentalist or extremist groups to fight alongside the Taliban against U.S. and coalition forces after the September 11th attacks. Part of the Taliban five prisoner exchange to free army deserter, Bo Bergdale, U.S. has also found ties to al-Qaeda uh, with this guy. Deputy Director of Intelligence, Mullah Taj Nijawat, top commander in, US desig- in uh, the U.S. designated terrorist organization, the Haqqani Network. Uh, he led what used to be called the Kabul Attack, Attack Network, which or- organized the uh, various terrorist groups, uh, various jihadist groups, um, including Al-Qaeda, in and around Kabul. Um, he was also said to be the head of the Taliban's martyrdom seeking battalion. Minister for Information and Culture, they have one of those too. Mullah Khairawa Khairwa. Uh, he was also a Guantanamo detainee likely involved with militant training. He was also a narcotics trafficker and probably used his position and influences to become one of the major opium drug lords in Western Afghanistan. And, and high, it's highly likely that he used profits from, from um, the drug trade to promote uh, the Taliban's war against, you know, against American forces and NATO forces. He's also part of the Taliban Five Prisoner Exchange um, in the freeing of the army deserter, Bo Bergdale. Also, the U.S. also found ties to Al-Qaeda. And finally, I can keep going, there's a longer list, but just these are the key positions I wanted to give you. The Minister of Borders and Tribal Affairs. Um, and one of the roles this person will play will be overseeing terrorist groups coming into Afghanistan. Mullah Narawa Nori, he was also a Guantanamo detainee. Nodi is wanted by the United Nations for possible war crimes, including the murder of thousands of Shiite Muslims, along with Babo. Um, according to a very legitimate on-the-ground Afghan expert, he was responsible for ethnic sectarian massacres in northern Afghanistan, along with people who he considered to be, and the Taliban considered to be, Taliban enemies. And he was also part of the prisoner exchange. Um, for the Bergdahl, the U.S. deserter and traitor. So I just wanted to give you the, 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 the top members of this government. And as you can see, um, not, only are they, not only are they connected to terrorism, um, I don't think it's exaggerated to say that, that they are terrorists. Um, that if anyone engaged in what these people have engaged in, they would be called terrorists. Um, and treated accordingly. And um, our, nego- our government is negotiating with them, and um, our government, you know, was was forced to plead with them to evacuate, like, as, as I said, our citizens and our Af- Af- Afghan allies, and, um, and uh, absolutely follow the deadline of uh, August uh, 31st, despite there being hundreds of American citizens left behind and tens of thousands of Afghans who helped the U.S. military. 